Hello and welcome to Power Query Calendar. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Hey, let's just jump right in. Our goal today is to build a graphical calendar that looks like this from an event list in a table that looks like this. So to get started, we're going to load this events um, table into Power Query. So we select any cell within the table and head to data from table range. This is going to open up the Power Query editor. And really, there's not many transformations we need to do here. All I'm going to really do is give this a name. I'm going to call this event list. And I want to change the data type to a date and replace current. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to close and load to. And here we're going to send this to a connection only query, no data model, click OK. And now that's loaded. Now we need to build the query that generates the calendar. But there's a couple of helper queries that we need to build first. So first, I'm going to right click and reference the event list query. And that's going to create a new query that starts with the event list. And I'm going to call this first day. And our objective here is to get the first day that we want displayed. So if our events don't start on January 1st or the first day of the month, we still want our calendar to start on the first day of the month. So I'm going to add a column, select a date, and I want to get month start of month. And that way we'll always get the first day of the month. Um, and then I'm going to change this to a whole number to convert it from a date format to a date serial number. Um, and then I'm just going to go to uh, transform statistics and here I want the minimum. And there we have the first day that we want displayed in the calendar. That looks good. So I'm going to close and load two. And I'm going to send this to a connection only query, no data model, click OK. Now we have first day, and we basically rinse and repeat to get the last day in our calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and reference the event list. I'm going to call this last day. And once again, I want to uh, get you know the, the last day of the month. So even if our event doesn't end on 1231 or the last day of the month, we still want that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to date, month, end of month. I'm going to change the data type to whole number. And then I'm going to go to transform statistics and maximum. All right, and that looks good. So I'm going to close and load two. Here we're going to send this out as a connection only query. Click OK. And now we got it. Now we need to build a helper query that creates a list of all of the dates from first day to last day. So to do that, I'm going to go to get data from other sources, blank query. And here the syntax is equals, and then we open up a curly brace that's going to start a list, and our list should go from first day, and it has to be case sensitive, and then two dots, and then last day. Close the curly brace, hit enter, and Excel generates a list of the dates. Okay, We're going to call this dates range. And when we're working with this, we don't want these date serials anymore. We want them to be actually to be dates. So I'm first going to convert to table. And that's fine. I click OK. And I'm actually going to call this date. And here I want to change the data type to a date. And now we've got a list of all the dates. And that looks good. So I'm going to close and load two. I'm going to create a connection only query and click OK. All right, perfect. Now what we need to do is take that entire date range and bring in the events for the dates that exist. To do that, we're going to merge. So get data, combine queries, merge. Now, the first query is going to be our entire list. That's the date range list. Our second query is going to be our events list. And I need to tell Excel that the date columns are the, um, are the common columns. Then I click OK. All right, and here we're looking pretty good. All I want to do now is change this from a table. So I click the expand, and the only column that I want from the results is the event column. I don't need this, so I click OK. There we go. So we have event titles for dates that have them and nulls for dates that don't. And so this is looking pretty good, actually. Um, and now we want to start to think about the format and layout of our calendar and create the, the corresponding column. So first, I want to be able to filter it by month. So to do that, I'm going to select the date column, add column, and here I want to go with month, start of month. Okay, So that's going to give us our filters. Now let's think about our rows. Our rows are really going to be um, the week numbers. So once again, I click date, 
and I want the week of year. Then I start to think about the columns and I think about day names. So I click date, date and um, day and we want the name of the day. And now I think of the values and I want the day number. So date, day, day. Okay. Now actually for the values within the calendar, we actually don't want the day number alone. We want the day along with the event. So I'm going to click day first, hold down control, click event, and then I need to merge these columns. So I click transform, merge columns, and the separator between them, I want to be a space. And I click, oh, let's give this a name. I'm going to call this day event and click OK. And now we have the day event. And this is looking good. I actually want to break that so that the day is just kind of on, on, a, on a line by itself. So this is optional. Um, but if you'd like that too, all we need to do is um, change this space and create a line break. And, and in Power Query, what that looks like is a pound and then uh, an LF for line feed uh, enclosed in parens and then hit enter. Okay, and again, that's an optional step, but I just like it to be broken. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. Um, and now we just need to do the pivot. So first, let me go ahead and clean up um, the date. And I'm just going to delete that date column. So I select the date column and hit the delete key on my keyboard. Um, now, this is optional, but if we want the, the day names fully spelled out in our calendar, we, we can just leave them the way that they are. If we want to uh, just grab like the first three letters, then what we would do is go to transform and extract first characters. Here I just hit three and hit enter. Either way is fine. Um, now with day name, what I want to do is I want to pivot. So I pivot column and the values are, or the values is day event. And here under advanced options, I actually just want to grab the minimum value and click OK. <laughs> At this point, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Now I'm going to delete the week of year since we don't need that. And then I just want to drag these columns into the order that I want. So I want to go with Sunday and then we'll go with Monday, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I think we look good. Okay. And then we just close and load two. And here we're going to send it out to a table in a new worksheet and go. All right. Uh, let me close this and now it's really just down to you know cosmetics and formatting uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire table and I want to do a uh, wrap text okay um, and then I'd like to go with top align that looks good um, maybe I want to hide this uh, column that's fine um, maybe I want to add a slicer so it's easy to do a filter. So I'm going to go back to tables, design, insert slicer. I'm going to pick start of month, click OK. Uh, and this way it's easy for me to pick, um, you know, Jan, Feb, March, OK, all the way down. Looks good. Um, and, you know, then there's tons of additional formatting options. So you can take it from here under table tools, design. You know, there's all kinds of different formats. So pick the one that you like. Uh, you know, you can do banded, you know, banded columns, banded rows. So feel free to play around. But, um, but now it's nice because if we add a new event or change an event name, um, all we really need to do is right click and refresh, uh, and then we, and then we got it. Okay, good. All right. Hey, uh, hopefully you had fun creating a calendar using Power Query. Thanks, and have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.